Hey everyone, it's Yuri here. Today I'm going to be going over our lead hook. So for me, being right-handed, it's my left hand. If you guys are left-handed and you're going to be standing in a southpaw stance, it's going to be your right hand. So from here, I'm standing in my nice fighting stance, making sure I'm well-balanced. My hands are always on my cheeks. So when I'm throwing my lead hook, I want to make sure I'm going to try to maintain my balance and twist my body as much as I can. Biggest things I see people do are throwing their arm out and going super wide, which leaves you really exposed down the center line. So a jab or a nice fast cross is gonna beat you every time. So you wanna make sure you're not flaring super wide or don't drop your hand and then swing all the way around. So part of that just comes down to getting comfortable with using your jab. But now for the hook, instead of just throwing it straight out down the center, I'm gonna throw it just a little bit to the side and twist my whole body. Right, so I want to make sure I get that shoulder and elbow flared up to make sure I'm protecting myself in case there's a counter. But at the same time, I don't want to fall, so I'm almost going to sit down and lean a little bit into that hook. That way, I'm getting some body power behind it. And try to keep your shoulder and elbow in line with the rest of your upper body. Try not to have your arm behind or too far in front. That way, your balance is going to be easier to maintain. So when I'm throwing, I'm going to either have uh, my hand coming out and thumb is going to be towards the sky. So these are a little bit for shorter distance, closer range. And I'm making sure I still get that shoulder high, that elbow high. And if I'm going a little bit longer range, I'm going to go and turn so my thumb is pointing down and the big two knuckles are my point of impact. So you've got to make sure your forearm's strong, your wrist is strong. So I'm going to be doing two, one of two things as far as I'm pushing off of my lead leg, just pushing my knee in and twisting my hips and my core into it so I get nice body mechanics to have good power behind my hook. Or I'm gonna twist over to try to get some more body power behind it. I don't really like to twist over, especially in Muay Thai, kickboxing or MMA, because that's gonna leave my leg exposed for counters as far as kicks, especially if I'm trying to throw a hook and then they slip it and then I get kicked, it's gonna hurt me a lot more than staying in a good stance and being able to come back. So part of the ability to throw a good hook is aiming just off to the side and going through and making sure your hand's always coming back. So I'm gonna throw and come back. Throw, nice hook, and right back to my face. So practice just getting it out to the side and twisting your body right to the end. Keep your other hand up nice and tight to your face and keeping it close to your core, trying not to flare your elbows. Just a couple slow, simple practices, push and twist. And I'm almost sitting down a little bit, sitting down and getting my butt back just to make sure I have power. And I'm typically gonna keep my rear leg flat on the ground when I throw. That way I have a good base and I can easily turn and throw my next combination or my next punch, whatever you guys need to do. So again, nice and simple, good balance, centered, just throwing and twisting over, making sure you go right past the center line and then right back to your face, All right? Really straightforward stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and got something out of the video. Please leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys at the next video.